joined by Saginaw Spirit Captain Braden Hache, this year's recipient of the Mickey Reno Captain's Trophy, uh, being honored here today at uh, the OHL Awards. Maybe just share the feeling of being recognized with that with that trophy. Yeah, honestly, so special. Um, you know, after finishing the season that we did and the group that we had, um, like being in, in these walls, accepting an award, something that I don't think I ever, you know, it's obviously a goal, but uh, picturing that is pretty hard. And, um, you know, being able to be here today is so special, so special for my family and I, you know, my mom, my dad, my brother, sister, uh, who supported me the whole way. wouldn't be able to do that without them. And everyone in Saginaw that believed in, in myself and our group to get the job done this year. And it's nice to be able to be here today knowing that we did. A whirlwind of a month for you. You might never have another month like this in your life. Yeah, honestly, it's been crazy. Like nothing's really stopped. Like I, I'm home, but like you know, we're still talking in our group chat every day. Like it felt like like I was home for a couple of days, and it just felt like I was waiting for a text from Laz and you know what their arrival was tomorrow or when we had to be at the rink. So um, it's a it's a crazy high to come down from. Um, you know, I was just saying a couple minutes ago uh, over there. It's like weird. Like we were, you know, it became we won Sunday, then it was Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, then Thursday. We're like, all right, like I guess we got to go home type thing and. Uh, but uh, winning special, we're connected for life. And honestly, like uh, it didn't take long. We're all getting together this Friday. So. Having the C on your jersey, you know, did you in particular maybe feel the weight of that, you know, in the West Final when, when you guys were eliminated and just knowing that there was probably going to be a good chance you'd have to beat them eventually? Or was that always something that kind of loomed over you for that period between the end of the playoffs and the Memorial Cup? Yeah, it wasn't easy. Like there was a lot of pressure all year. Um, obviously, being a team that knew we were going to be in the final and we were, uh, you know, final tournament, and we were expected to win all year. There's a different kind of pressure that follows with that. And, um, you know, when you have two rings on the line and you've lost one, it's, you know, the pressure and everything of losing that next and having to live with yourself the rest of your life was was definitely tough thing going into it. But um, we just had to, you know, think back to what got us there, that we deserve to be there. Um, and, you know, what what allowed us to be so successful during the regular season as well. But obviously, uh, uh, an amazing battle with the Knights. Like we, we battle with them all year, battle with them in the playoffs, you know, um, you know, credit to them. Like we didn't, you know, they didn't let us get that first place spot. You know, we slipped up once and we knew that that game when we lost was against Erie that, you know, we think we still had eight games to go, but we were like, that's it. You know, they're not going to let that go. And um, yeah, it was a good battle and uh, it will be uh, one forever to look back on. You have the unique experience of kind of growing up around the league. You got to play, you know, four or five, years in it and, and 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 now it's done now you're graduated what's it been like i mean has it has, has it kind of fulfilled your wildest dreams yeah honestly like i couldn't have uh you know asked and been more privileged to be able to um you know go out like this um with the group that i did and the staff that i did and um like i said connected for life and you know it, it did take a while like i think i i sat and stared at my stall and everyone was gone you know still all my equipment was hanging it took me a while to to actually pack up and get out of that room and um, but had a couple cool moments with some teammates you know just you know, walking around the quiet empty rink after you know the ice was melting and everything just looking back on you know the buzz that was in that building only a couple days prior but um, yeah I couldn't have been more thankful yeah.